I believe that electric cars are the future and I'm still waiting on my Model 3 pre-order which has been pushed back at least six months. So these delays in production from Tesla are opening up doors for other EV manufacturers which I say that's great because the more the merrier because the more there are the better it is for us the consumer. So when SF Motors reached out to bring me out to their headquarters along with the select a few others and sponsored the channel to preview their new SF5 and SF7 EVs to show you guys, I packed my bags for California. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect much because I've never heard of SF Motors before, but I left that event hopeful and excited from a few points that were made. There were two cars shown off at the event, the SF5 and the SF7. And while these were concepts, they were really well designed and built with unique styling and interior color textures. Before showing off the cars, they talked about one of the biggest problems with electric vehicle companies today, and that is the mass manufacturing of these cars when it comes time to sell them. And SF Motors stated that they already have a supply chain in place for all the parts that they need because all of the parts for the interior and exterior were designed in-house and they already bought a plant in Indiana that used to build Hummers. So that's gonna preserve some jobs in the United States, which is awesome. It should give them about a 50,000 car yield per year. And there's a separate plant in China to serve that market as well. I spent most of my time with the SF5 and I just couldn't take my eyes off this crossover concept. The headlights capture your attention right away and the front of this car looks like the future. Let me know what you guys think of it. And the first thing I wanted to ask about was the performance of these cars because I wanted to see how it was gonna stack up against the competition. And it looks like these things are gonna be super fast with an option of quad motors. <laughs> which I think is a first in the EV industry. So that's one motor per each wheel, and it's gonna produce over a thousand horsepower with a zero to 60 in less than three seconds, and it's gonna give you 300 miles on a single charge. I also thought the doors were unique, and of course they opened and closed with just a push of a button. But when I got into the SF5 is where I started to get excited. I love the instrument cluster where I'm used to it being. The center console display was absolutely huge. It melted right into the dash and it looked like it'd be controlled by touch and also a dial which had the same rose gold copper accents throughout the car. I love the color combination. It just looked really clean and luxurious. So I hope this stays in the production vehicle. At first I was wondering why the side mirrors were so small, but there's a camera inside them to display to the inside of the door, which I thought was really interesting. And also the interior felt spacious with a full panoramic sunroof, which you would expect in an EV. So I'm a fan of this interior layout. Of course, to be a true Tesla killer, there has to be autonomous driving and there will be with AI baked in for safety features. And I'm sure we'll hear more details announced as the development continues on these cars. So if you're wondering when you can pick one of these cars up, it looks like pre-orders will start at the end of 2018 and they will be on the road in some time in 2019. So that is nice. So I can't wait to see a pre-production model of this so I can drive it. There are some important things that we didn't get to hear yet like pricing. So make sure you stay tuned for more details as they come in but I am hopeful for SF Motors. I know companies like Lucid and Faraday all claim to be Tesla killers too when announced, but I think SF Motors is of course trying to compete with them, but in a different way. One of the founders of Tesla, Martin Eberhard, is the chief innovation officer for SF Motors. So this tells me something, there must be something here to produce this car and to make this company successful. So I'm excited for SF Motors and I hope next time that you see me with SF Motors is a test drive experience that I can share with you guys. Thanks for watching this guys. I hope you enjoyed a first look at SF Motors and let me know what you guys think about these cars and what you think about EVs in general. Are they a flop or are they the future? So make sure you sound off in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe for a lot more EV coverage on this channel. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.